Dear colleagues, dear Presidium, Oksana Petrovna, dear colleagues, probably it's time we talked about import uh, substitution and input of uh, radiation therapy. The first thing I'd like to talk about is the point that now Minsk has hosted an oncological Eurasian forum which stated the following annually. Pay attention, I've just taken the main localizations. So they register more than a million of uh, women with malignant diseases of reproductive system which rank first after breast cancer and account for 30 percent, according to International Agency for Cancer. Every year, they diagnose about 600,000 new uh, diseases of um, cervical cancer, and 200,000 women die. 40 percent of oncological patients, they diagnose cancer in uh, third and fourth stage. We have to bear in mind that although during 20 years the diagnostic has radically changed, as well as prophylactics, and they improved the methods of treatment who are coming across such an oncological situation. Mikhail Davidov, being at this forum, expressed the following statements that the main directions in preventing oncological diseases should be screening. Screening is entering our life, defining predictors and prophylaxis of pain. Individual approach to the improvement of treatment in more in using modern technologies and medications. Of course, it's necessary to think about possible input substitution uh, options. I've been working for 50 years in oncology and radiology and multimodal methods of treatment. I'd like to draw attention to the following. Despite all these four uh, statements, statement number five says that without input substitution, nuclear medicine in Russia will either disappear or will be based on that input uh, needle, which will result in the increase of mortality, economic and political losses. Many presentations today have been devoted to contact radiotherapy. Of course, if you take urology, there are skilled radiologists working there, but this urological direction uh, has gone away from our focus and uh, I have to say that contact radiotherapy at present is a science-intensive, high-technological, independent method of treatment which has to preserve its position. Treatment of malignant tumors of different localizations and method and ways to implement the RT should be improved. American brachytherapy Society tells that the modern conformed 3D therapy is the only method for tumor treatment can be applied only with the strong counter indications for the contact therapy for tumors of male and female reproductive systems, intestinal systems, and some other types of cancers. What does uh, import substitution offer to us? We have almost lost uh, the methods for contact uh, therapy in favor of automated uh, RT. The uh, problems of import substitutions came to us in 2015, and the background for that is quite clear. I just want you to consider that the equipment we use for how a capacity contact therapy are can be found in in number of options is there a point in comparing them no there is no point but i just want to draw your attention to a number of issues modern agat equipment that is being advertised in for hospitals work with cobalt and has 300 uh, transmitters and receivers. The physicist will tell us 
that there are no major differences between the cobalt and the iridium 192. We just should know how to handle them. But with the iridium, we have 5,000 transmitters and receivers, and they are so well tuned that uh, after 5,000 transmitters and receivers, we should have um, technicians to uh, tune it again. That's a lot of money. But that's another issue. How the topometrical system works today? When I talk about the uh, authorities, the hospital leaders, uh, I talk about, I insist on uh, MRTI visualization in order to make uh, contact uh, RT schedules more effective. Yes, our devices, our Russian devices, have a wonderful table with fixation devices without the uh, uh, bottom console, but we cannot get this uh, table to the uh, rooms for controlled uh, RT, and that's the problem. All previous presenters say that with bigger fractions and bigger sources, we will inevitably have an increase in complications, especially in the areas uh, near urethra and uh, the prostate. So instead of relying on the calculations, we have to understand the real dosage, the real exposure level for each single patient. That's what we call personified treatment. Among all the devices that I showed you on the previous slide, there are a number of innovative solutions. This uh, limited company offers Nucleotrin, that's the new device for contact therapy. This one was made upon the German technologist basic Ether Ecker studies. It's uh, fully domestic. It has been approved, clinically approved, and was delivered to four hospitals. But unfortunately, the advantages of this device are unknown for us because the experience of uh, producing this company in the special engineering company that was set in 1994 compared to public uh, manufacturers uh, with uh, radioactive sources is a very delicate issue. However, this um, device was sent to hospitals and will be working there. So we need to have a very careful audit of its efficacy. Our center throughout the history, uh, starting from the point when our scientists uh, offered first devices for a contact RT, claim that one device is not enough. We need a complex, uh, the whole array of means and devices that will know no limits for RT possibilities. We need to have uh, good visualization. We have VDAR system for that. That's the domestic system. We also need the uh, treatment design system produced here, but that's not enough. We believe that for large tumors, we need to have a real and rapid ways of uh, modifications. Uh, contact hyperthermia that is made before the intracavial surgery is the good example of that because it reduces the post-treatment complications. But we need to be practical about the dosage of contact RT, and we do that trying to produce a domestic um, dosator. These are all domestic uh, developments, and we're really slow to introduce them. Our teachers from St. Petersburg and Moscow schools, as well as some other schools, use the low capacity contact RT. That's a very important thing to bear in mind. When the source of all activity is placed, 
directly to inside the tumor and affects it for a long period of time, killing cells. That's uh, what we have the microsomes of iodine. There was the presentation that the United States, they stopped to use this method and proceed with a fully automated contact RT. But I have never asked a question about the iridium for prostate cancer treatment that we get in 9QE and you administer a certain dosage, then you get 5 QE and the whole radiobiology changes. How do you account for that? You should only rely on the calculations. As far as low dosage treatment is concerned, we can use the um, other technologies that we should promote because there are other there are different localizations that the modern equipment cannot account for. Going beyond my personal considerations, I want to provide you with the information that I heard at the conference back in 2015. What do we require for the contact here? We need the clinical table, the operator, with the stationary replacement therapies because our patients, especially female patients, want to stay at home and have their rehab there because that's how they feel better. We also need to adjust biologically optimal fractioning modes, possibility to get the optimal radiation volumes with a possible fractioning escalation. Our teachers, radiobiologists, uh, said that should you not have the ready RT complications today, you'll have them in two, three years if patient survives this time. So the problem of uh, large fraction is still an open issue without in order not to get the severe complications of RT. When you were shown the prostate, it is surrounded by the um, margin area and the dosage is extremely high. The needle show com shows completely different picture. From our trials, we know that the dose at the source is 10 times higher than the marginal dose. I just want to say that our devices designed in our country were not born, they didn't appear from nowhere. They were the product of our teachers. These were gamma therapy devices. Imagine these were the uh, devices with iridium 192 and cesium, but that was clear that with our vast territory, the iridium-based devices will face certain technical difficulties. Now we are talking about um, having solid devices. Now we have uh, flexible and scotic devices, but we can have stable field only if all chains, um, all links in uh, endostatic chain are tightly connected and the form of the field is determined by several trajectories uh, that are usually non-linear and with different um, expo exposure timing. We got rid of the seeker for visualization and uh, say that the uh, plastic uses static masses as we saw that in the Gustav Rossi Institute can provide for the radiation of a complex anatopic areas, foreign applicators, those of you who work with them, that's the central end of the state that has a counterflexion that produces um, excessive load. And then you will see the so-called voider that uh, falls within the uh, rectal area. Now, what about physicists? Talking about the contact the RT, 
we have a number of challenges here, including human resources, uh, funding and relevant technical equipment. We need to use the access to provide for the voluminous tissue reconstruction. We need to have free physics manipulations with rotations and transmissions. The uh, presence of uh, actual reconstruction tools and many other things. And suddenly we have another prerequisite, the contouring atlas according to international regulations and the guidelines, the standard plans and standard geometry libraries. Why do we need that? Because at the international trainings, we have five high top end professionals and they start talking about contouring and the individual dosage level, not a single person does not show standard approach. Each of them have their own vision. Uh, recently, we have uh, CT and MRI professionals uh, with us, and they ask, how can you have countering at your CT devices without knowing where tumor ends and where your risk zone lie? So please consider that despite high individualization, we have to ask a question about rational standardization. We also do that in order to provide for tailor-made approach and do no harm to our patients. Don't think that patients living abroad are smart enough to install their equipment with us and nothing works anymore. No, they regulate. They work really tough. Both in the United States and in Europe, they say that uh, Iridium 100, 192, 95, um produce uh, enormous mistakes, up to 95 percent. There is the uh, prognosis range for the contact therapy. We have extremely active source and tiny three millimeter source. What are the uh, incompatibilities here? The incompatibility between the dosage and the size of a source. The same applies for iodine. If they are not standardized or certified, there will be big errors in conformities in the process of clinical procedures per se. Pay attention, definition of the dose in water phantom can reduce dosimetric um, in conformities, but not result in changes of the values of the prescribed and delivered zone. Brachytherapy today, minimization of geometric inconformities occurring at reconstruction of endostates. We are dealing with uh, uh, outlining, we are choosing individual optimal fields, but we come across uh, many errors. I will not repeat these items. But there is an important point, uh, uh, deviation of more than uh, 2.5 millimeters between the position and the source of markers. This is what is not known to us because we have received a ready-made product. What's important in contact radiotherapy, we understand the algorithm of distant radiotherapy. We understand how we have to outline the tumor, how to minimize the dose. But what is taking place in contact radiotherapy? You have inversive area, the reduction of uh, the dose uh, based to the distance. Uh, historically, the basis of planning were X-ray therapy, more seldom ultrasound and planning in real time. Let's look at the simple tumor. Here is the MRI uh, visualization. Here is eight uh, channel endostate. You see uretra and rectum. And have a look. All these three recommended levels high risk, the tumor, high risk, moderate risk, and low risk. We believe that probably it's reasonable to use one value target volume. This is what significantly is important so that the target would be surrounded by the dose field symbolizing single uh, uh, dose. 
focal dose. And of what do our systems give today? Our national systems give an opportunity to visually imagine uh, these uh, organs in the volume, uh, visualized interstates. And it's important to have that uh, strict fixation in these three, four outlines. Have a look at the distance. One counter overlaps uh, or covers the other. How precisely can the doctor outline it? What have we achieved? Besides simple outlining, we have uh, tablets and uh, certain but it's not possible to do it in such a way not to lose certain precision. That is why foreigners also paid attention to the fact that there are relapses and there are radiation damages. Why? Because when uh, there is a com complex volume, uh, they write about observing conformity index. They also state that while defining in conformities is the situation with the identification of DTV uh, situation. The most frequent conformities are in upper cranial and caudal areas. Areas are possible. There are a lot of different uh, points that are enumerated as uh, adverse events. Um, as for uncertainties, they call them uncertainties and inconformities. A lot of presentations are devoted to them. Here there are uncertainties of the position of the source inside the applicator because this three millimeter device moves and they found an interesting thing. When there is a big inclination, um, uh, so the source uh, uh, going to this curvature loses its uh, opportunity. Um, with the curve of the applicator, uh, distortions of movements of cables, we can uh, send the source to the lateral wall of applicator. And geometrical uncertainties related to the reconstruction of applicator are also very significant. Please look at some main uh, statements. The volume of radiation, D90. Reconstruction of applicators is related to 4% out of 9% of errors uh, that occur at outlining. Uh, that important uh, point, D2. Uh, so where it is believed that there is higher frequency of complications. Here, uh, the errors, uh, 5 and 10%. Here they write the following, radiorectitis, maximum value at high uh, dose uh, radiotherapy occurs within four or five years. So when they speak about prostate good during first, second, and third year, it may say nothing. Further on, there might be complicating points. Then, for low-dose contact uh, radiotherapy, yes, there are problems in introduction, in registration of the position of the sources, but uh, low-dose uh, uh, contact radiotherapy is preferable for prosthetic cancer, despite the fact that we want to get, uh, well, relieve the burden on the radiologist related to the introduction of the source into the system of applicators. An important thing today is that new technologies are related to the merging of uncertainties, and foreigners emphasize that this merging of uncertainties, what we don't know, is very significant, and the introduction of each new technology results in new uncertainties that can grow as a snowball. Uh, the ways of solutions of the issue of contact radiotherapy for us is purchasing only uh, well, uh, promising technologies, equipment after independent expert test optimization, the ways of uh, volumes of investments in uh, national medical radiology, the use of progressive uh, national technologies and supporting their developments. Everything depends on us. We have our com medical community has to be stricter to the point that administration is doing for us and our patients. Thank you.